In this video, I'm going to talk about AIML targeting, a system for adding new content to a bot. Let's look at the Kirk bot. Fake Kirk has acquired about 126 accesses per hour, or close to 7,000 accesses per day. Let's look at the log files. Now, by default, Pandora Bots displays 15 conversations per page over the last seven days. But let's change this to 1,500 per page over the last one day. When we scroll down to the bottom, we can see that actually there were 357 conversations within the last day. Now, in the old days, when we first started working with chatbots, the way we added content to the bot was to actually look at the conversations. So let's pick one of these conversations and take a look at it. If we scroll down through this conversation, we can try to find a place where the bot gave an inaccurate or vague answer. Um, here's one. The client says, it's a nice day today, and the bot gives kind of a strange answer. So we can click on the train option and provide a different response. Using the advanced alter response option, we'll simplify the pattern to, it's a nice day, and fake Kirk will say something like, the weather is always nice on your planet. So now if we try to ask again, fake Kirk's response will be, the weather is always nice on your planet. So you can add content to the bot by scanning through the log files and looking for these places where the bot gave a vague answer. But the AI ML targeting function provides a way of automatically scanning the files and looking for these places. So the way to access the AI ML tar targeting function is again to look at the log. Let's select all the conversations from the last day. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see the little drop-down menu here, and we're going to select the option Find Targets. Click OK. The Find Targets page gives us a variety of options. For now, we can ignore these and just click the Find Targets button. Usually, the category with the pattern star by itself, which we call the ultimate default category, is the one that has the most targets. Let's take a quick look at those. As you can see, and many of the inputs matching the ultimate wildcard default category are just random nonsense. However, we can find some examples in here where we would like the bot to have a better response. So let's just click on the train button. This takes us to the training interface. The input is begin, and now we'd like fake Kirk to say, I have already started without you. So if we try to ask that input again, fake Kirk will say, I have already started without you. Suppose the input is cries. Let's have fake Kirk say, please don't cry, get name equals name. Ask again, please don't cry, the Admiral of the Fleet. By, by chance, our name here is the Admiral of the Fleet. Notice that targeting has ranked the patterns in the Kirk bot by the number of activations. Let's scroll down to the inputs that match the pattern RU star. And targeting shows us that there are 49 of them. Notice that the input are you busy occurs four times. That means that this is a fairly popular input and could be one that's worth providing uh, a good response for first. So let's train the bot to have a good response for are you busy. And we'll have fake Kirk say, I'm not too busy for you. Get name equals name. And now if we ask that input again, are you busy? The bot's response is, I'm not too busy for you. And then it will insert the client's name here. Here the input is, are you James Tiberius Kirk? And we'll simply train the bot to say yes. Sometimes we find an input such as, are you human or Vulcan? for which we know the bot already has an answer. So we'll go to the advanced alter response here and change the pattern to are you human star and we're going to use the AIML SRAI operator to link this response to the same response we have for the pattern are you human. So if we ask this input again, fake Kirk responds with 
the same response he would as if the input had been, are you human? Namely, I am human. Are you smart? We'll have Faye Kirk say, I graduated at the top of my class in Starfleet Academy. Ask again. I graduated at the top of my class in Starfleet Academy. Let's take a look at a special class of targets. If the input is yes or no, then the bot may have said something which prompted the client to say yes or no. And you can see there are a lot of examples of these. Let's take the yeses. If we scroll down through this list of targets, we can find an example where the input is yes, and the bot had just said, do you gentlemen have any further questions? So let's train the bot to have a better response in this case. Advanced Delta Response. And in this case, the new category depends on the that context of the bot. So we're going to include the that pattern in the matching. If the bot said, do you gentlemen have any further questions, and the input is yes, then Fake Kirk will respond with, what else do you want to ask me? In order to test this, we have to reestablish the that context. And there is a pattern in the fake Kirk bot called say star, which simply echoes the input. And we'll use that to reestablish the that pattern. The bot says, do you gentlemen have any further questions? And now our input is going to be yes. Faye Kirk's response is, what else do you want to ask me? That concludes our basic introduction to AIML targeting.